women make up 25% of computing jobs. The statistics for blacks and Latinos are, are downright depressing, and women-led companies are getting just 2% of funding. Why do you yeah. think that is still? Just extraordinary sexism and uh, racism, ageism, all of this, and we, we have kind of we really have to evolve out of this culture. And your book is wonderful, Emily. And uh, you know, I've, I've, I'm about halfway through, and it's, it's you know, I, I know so many people in there, uh, and and it's just full of. We got ourselves into this, you know, let's pattern map the person or this kind of profile that that the VCs were funding. It's really a huge challenge, as you said. Ninety over ninety percent of money from the venture world is going to men. Seventy-five uh, percent, you know, we're on the tech jobs tour and on rise of the rest from Steve Case. You know, it's really going to Silicon Valley, New York, and Boston, so lots of the country. I remember being with Steve. Uh, we were in Columbus, Ohio, and he was saying, you know, Ohio is getting in uh, one year what Silicon Valley is getting in a week. So this is diversity of location of people. We have so much talent in America. We've got to field the whole team. I'm encouraged from the tour because I saw so many extraordinary entrepreneurs from, you know, all backgrounds that we really need to get behind and they'll lift this country. I'm not sure if you've gotten through the Google chapter yet, but, you know, I write in the book that Google's founders, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, really focused on hiring strong women in the early days, and they got some incredible women like Sheryl Sandberg and Susan Wojcicki and yourself. And if you look at the numbers today, Google's numbers are simply average, and they're facing this big lawsuit from the Department of Labor about pay disparities between men and women. What do you think went wrong there, or what is the lesson in that? It's in all of the companies. We just have extraordinary bias uh, built in. And so, you know, as we're asking questions, the interview bias, leadership really has to just make this a very top priority. The leaders of all the tech companies, like all companies, care about diversity. But it, it needs to move from number 20 to number one to three. Diverse teams just make better products. So it's a shareholder value uh, opportunity and, and uh, import for everybody. So we really need to do this work. There's lots of stuff that most companies aren't doing. We wrote a, a piece in the White House called Raise the Floor, and we just listed all the things that leaders, you can do in your culture. There's so many practices that would make a huge difference if, if people would pick them up, and most people don't know them. So we really have a reckoning. It, you know, this is a form of time's up. You know, it, it's been plenty of time. Let's go. We have tons of history that brought us to this place, but, you know, none of us created this problem. But once we know about it, let's go.